Good morning. My name is Gary Smith. I'm a quick draw tarps manufacturer and installer of these rolling tarp systems on these trailers. A nice run through on how to operate and open up and close the quick draw rolling tarp system. We make these as easy as possible. Uh, these bungee cords are the first thing we, we want to undo. They're always nice and tight. And there's always a spot, a little hook to hook them up to keep them out of the way. Open it up from the Velcro. Little hook here on the side. Put for your, what we call it, our quick release. Those are out of the way. Bottom of your back flap is steel tube driven into the tarp. Little flap. Open it up. Remove your tube. And I know a lot of, most of the time you're going to be working these things outside. So on these windy days, keep your hand on the bar. Don't let the bar go. The wind will take this off just like a parachute. Release your bar, grab your double rope, Just pull it right up, get a big hook in here on the side, wrap your rope around, out of the way, and your back end is all opened up. Now you'll see inside we have two, two straps crisscrossed, we call these our X-brace straps, and they're there so when you're traveling it'll reduce the sway of your back bow from side to side to help keep everything intact. Just release your straps. You can take your hook. Put this around the side also. cord here, your, your rear brace crank, this bungee cord just holds your crank in so it doesn't, won't bounce out, this the crank, the rear brace acts like a big screw, just unscrew it, you release the pressure off, your hook at the center of the rear bow will come off, Lean her in. Now you're all released. And with one hand, you can just pull her full. Roll it as far as you need to to do your unloading. What we call a little carrier stop or a brake with the blue handle on it. You just pull it back towards the back of the trailer and lock it down, you feel it locked down in place and that'll hold the rear bow so it won't roll back on you. For our loading purposes, if you need to move them, this little hook comes off. Pull the pin out, pull it back, and you can remove the rear brace. Don't load anything right at the very back. Now to open it from the front, to roll backwards, right here at the very front. This little, this little hole with the pin lock, we call that a quick release. This is your ratchet gear, it's locked in, so to unlock it, each trailer comes with a winch bar, you slide her in and push her forward to the inside, it'll release. Just push your system back. Release it completely. This is what we call our pull bar with our headboard straps attached. Just pull her up, twist it, release it, set her inside. Now it's completely open on this side and we'll finish opening the other side. Twist and release. Then the front, pull back. 
also a carrier stop or brake on the front bow that you can lock down also. And we'll hold it in place. Now when we close the system up, we always close the front first. So we get our front bow. And our pull bar. The top, top strap between the two gussets at the top. Inside at the bottom. Straighten it and let it drop down. And your pull bar is in. You want to tighten it so you have pressure on on your last click. You want to force that last click in. And then you have a look and your rubber seal is nice and tight from the headboard to the front bow. Do that on the, on the opposite side and the front is all ready to roll. Now that the front's all tied up, now we'll pull it to the back and we'll tighten up the back and close her up. Use the carrier stop. Full handle and just walk her back. Get your hooks in place. You only have to do one side at a time. And then crank are tight. That should have a two finger space. And we can tighten up the other side. Crank handle goes back into space. Put your bungee cord on it and hold it down so it won't pop up. And the first thing we're going to do is put our cross straps back on. want to tighten these so they're snug. You don't want to over tighten them. And you're set. The driver side always comes to the passenger side first. Then the passenger side over to the driver side. That way the two straps are not touching each other and they won't wear up. Just snug. And we can drop the back lap down. Put your tube back in, in place underneath the flaps. And again, I say, hold on to that tube on windy days so the wind doesn't catch it. Then your flaps, you close her up tight, wrap her around, give her a smack with that Velcro stick. You gotta use a little bit of strength to get your bungees back hooked up. Keep your rope underneath your bungees and the wind won't be blowing, the, blowing your rope around. Lastly, just tie a little knot on the bottom here to hold your, your pull rope in place, all set to roll.